This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News. The Associated Press reports the Texas Attorney General's Office has obtained a restraining order against organizations behind the Texas Highway Patrol Museum in San Antonio. The Attorney General's Office also obtained a freeze on the assets of the organizations. The lawsuit, filed in Austin, accuses the Texas Highway Patrol Association and two affiliate groups of illegally soliciting charitable donations. It also accuses the groups of falsely asserting that donations it receives would benefit families of fallen state police officers. Instead, the lawsuit argues that proceeds of charitable contributions were used for personal purposes, including meals, in-house pet care, entertainment, and unauthorized travel. A message left with the San Antonio Museum Monday was not returned. From Houston, the Associated Press reports the Texas DPS will be watching the highways over the holidays. An industry group expects 7.5 million Texans will hit the road for the holidays. Texas troopers will be on patrol as well. AAA Texas on Monday predicts those travelers will go 50 miles or more from home starting Friday to Monday, January 2, 2012. That would be a 2.6% increase from year-ago numbers. AAA Texas estimates about 6.9 million Texans plan to drive to their holiday destinations. Texas Department of Public Safety troopers will be out in force from Tuesday through January 1st, and especially during the Christmas and New Year's weekends. Troopers during the same period last year made just over 1,200 DWI arrests, issued over 17,000 citations for speeding. From Austin, Republican State Representative Joe Driver has been sentenced to five years probation for using taxpayers' money in a double-dipping reimbursement scheme. Driver did not speak Monday during the hearing in a Travis County court. Prosecutors had recommended the sentence last month after the Dallas area lawmaker pleaded guilty to a felony charge of abuse of official capacity. Driver admitted he reimbursed himself with public money for tens of thousands of dollars in expenses that his campaign had already covered. He was ordered to pay nearly $64,000 in restitution and a $5,000 fine. Driver has announced he will not seek re-election. He has served in the House since 1992. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News.